Our next hymn is All Things Bright and Beautiful, and we'll do all the verses. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia! The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray together. Eternal and all-merciful God, with all the angels and all the saints, we laud your majesty and might. By the resurrection of your Son, show yourself to us and inspire us to follow Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 14a and verses 22 to 32. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonder, and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know, this man handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will give in, live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you confidently of our ancestor David that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on the throne. For seeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading is taken from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 to 9. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that though perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with him an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. 
When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them, although the doors were shut. And Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your fingers here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and, and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord, and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? <laughs> Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. <laughs> 